Hi, welcome to a video of my finds for Saturday, October 21st, 2017. I went to an estate sale, not early enough because I got, uh, I was second in line for a sale that started at 9. It was an estate sale and I got there at 6.15 a.m. and some guy arrived at 5.30 so we got all the, the rare cool stuff uh, that was shown in the pictures on Kijiji so knowing I would not get the rare stuff I focused on one record that I really needed to get in my mind I said if I get that one record screw the other ones I know he'll pick all of the other ones and uh, I'll show at the end of the video the, the one big score of the day which is the, the first record I picked so we'll finish with that one so records were a little bit pricey especially considering they didn't check them first There's some were scratchy albums some were uh, sleeveless uh, empty covers and uh, naked records records with the wrong record inside the sleeve uh, expensive records with the scratchy record inside it was a big mess uh, so uh, the 45's there were two boxes I would have taken a whole stack about uh, I don't know uh, a uh, 10 inch high stack of 45s had they been like 50 cents but they were a dollar each so we'll start with the one dollar 45s so only took nine we have uh, a promo uh, copy US pressing of Lolita Yaya by Adventures double A side the same thing on both sides love the, although it's a little bit torn I love the sleeve Dalton Records Incorporated what we have here not not they're not matching, the, the some of the sleeves don't match the record, but the sleeve is cool. Uh, Glo Gloria Taylor, Grounded Parts 1 and 2. I like the cover by Atlantic Records. Uh, Crown Heights Affair, Dreaming a Dream, and uh, Dreaming a Dream Disco Version. This is kind of cool. It's never this one is really uh, mint. Uh, it's a promo copy of uh, Solomon Burke's Bebop Grandma and uh, just out of reach of my two open arms. I like, like that one. Some I haven't had time to play yet. Uh, Hamilton Bohannon foot stomping music and dance with your part. Parno? Pard? Parno. Okay. This I got, uh, yeah. On Minute Records, U.S. Pressing, Mother-in-Law by Ernie K. Doe, B-Side, Wanted, $10,000 Reward. Really, really pristine. So there was some cool stuff, mint stuff, <laughs> and some scratched up stuff. Uh, you really had to look at your stuff. I, I took my sweet time there. After the big rush, people uh, left. After, like all the, the buyers had, came, uh, had, had come. I stuck around and took my sweet time checking everything a second time and find, find, finding a bunch of uh, LPs with no sleeves. You'll see that in a minute. I took two of those. Here we have Rufus Thomas, Do the Funky Chicken, US Pressing, Turn Your Damper Down. It's fun, there's some timestamps on them. This one says February 2nd, uh, 1970, 10.44 a.m. I don't know if it's like a premiere playing time or whatever. Didn't have any backup story of the sellers because uh, the s they they had hire uh, a guy to um, conduct the sale, so I, I wasn't I was unable to talk to the uh, to this owners. Love Me by Chris Montes, U.S. pressing on monogram. The other side is all you had to do was tell me. And finally, I uh, love this. Uh, although I hate polystyrene records, I had to keep to, to get that one. Look pretty cool. It's, not, it's a nice record. On well made by Buddha Records, I love the sleeve, hot wax. It's uh, 100 proof, aged in soul, too many cooks spoiled the soup, and not enough love to satisfy. Nice funk, uh, soul funk record. So I got these 9.45s for a dollar each. And albums, unless they have prices on them, I only took two with prices on them. I didn't get the good stuff on the other table uh, fast enough. I was only the second guy in line. I missed a du Dupree album. I missed them with Gloria on it. Uh, 12 by 5 by the Stones uh, and a few others I wanted to get and of course didn't get. But uh, LPs were two bucks. I managed to get uh, five LPs for a dollar each. Two because they had no, no sleeves and 
three because they're scratchy. And uh, I did find this 178. I, I got it for a dollar. So it's Sarah Vaughan, whatever whatever Lola wants. And the other side is, oh yeah. So it's, it's it looks like new old stock, but it, it got some weird. Uh, I've seen that on quality pressed uh, uh, 78s. They have this weird uh, film. I, I need I need to clean it up with soap and water, and it will be uh, will play very well. I tried it, uh, and the uh, one dollar LPs. We'll start with the empty ones. This was the record that belonged in the sleeve of one of the records that was on the cool table, the Nashville Teens Tobacco Road. Uh, a guy got it before me, but he told me it was the wrong record inside. At the very end, when I was alone going through all the, the crap and uh, empty records, I found this one. I uh, said, so, oh, there it is. I, I, I took it, uh, there's a big deep scratch in the last track, La Bamba, here, but otherwise, uh, if you play it on something similar to this, it plays pretty well. But I was uh, upset enough to find the sleeve. I, I expected to find the sleeve left behind, but no, the guy apparently got the sleeve, so now the sleeve and record are separated. I could have been able to put them together, but maybe I'll try to contact him and ask him if he wants to sell me the sleeve and this this I have to get because I don't have at all and it's not very scratchy it's actually not bad so. and it's uh, I, I haven't seen the sleeve anywhere I suspect it was in the regular pile and somebody got the sleeve with the wrong record inside I'm pretty sure that's what happened the original monster mash by Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crypt Kickers so nice big uh, first release Canadian pressing on Garpax I'm pretty glad I got that for a dollar. Too bad I don't have the record cover, but and then these three I got for a dollar instead of two dollars because they, they have scuffs and scratches. The twangs, the thing, Dwayne Eddy, his twangy guitar and the rebels. I saw another one I think it was Girls, Girls, Girls or something like that. But it was a little bit too scratchy for me. And actually the sleeve and record cover were separate. I'm the one who put them together. Uh, this one, okay, let's say, so the, the, there are a few scratches, a few scuffs, but I like uh, how it's the US pressing on Jamie. This one, I had to to get no matter what, because it's such a cool cover. I like uh, TV memorabilia records, so this is Ozzy and Harriet Nelson. And uh, the cover is nice. But the record is covered in scratches. I haven't tried to play it, but I didn't have time. I had a very busy weekend. Today is Monday. It's my day off. I took a day off, a uh, vacation day. Ah, sorry, I can't get the record out. But I just realized, why am I insisting on showing scratches? <laughs> but you can see it's your US label, US pressing. This... Seems I got this for a dollar. Uh, Ricky Nelson. I don't have that one. It starts with Shirley Weeks, etc. And ends with Poor Fool, but it has some scratches. Again, kind of record you could easily play uh, on this kind of a uh, table. But uh, covered in scratches, yeah. But I, I wanted for the sleeve at least, because and it was a dollar. I managed to get it for a dollar. Now for the um, 15 LPs I got for two bucks. This was just me being patient. I wanted to have it because I got a Rolls Royce Best of CD I think last year, two years ago, I loved it I was familiar with Car Wash of course so I got this but uh, not in a two dollar condition at all I, sh I should have waited a bit longer it has some static and yeah that's a 50 cent record I paid two dollars for but it's not wasted, it's good music Ronnie Jones includes Hit Single Soul Sister, again a dollar record, I paid two bucks for that, but I wanted to have it, it was, this one is very clean, I played it, it's nice, nice disco, actually I think I only played this side this weekend, didn't play that side yet, again, I, this one I got because it's really really clean, Gap Band 4, it's the one with the big hit, you dropped a bomb on me, so that's why I got it, there we go. Obscure Disco. The Zebras. Paradise Garage. Uh, that's, I think, a Canadian recording. And released by a uh, Unidisc. Unidisc has some cool obscure disco sometimes. 
Yeah, this is a uh, well uni wave distributed by Unidisc. This is a Ricky Nelson record. This one I was lucky. Uh, that that's worth two bucks because it's first of all it's the stereo pressing, nice cover, US pressing, and it's clean. Real stereo and uh, it's pretty pretty clean. Doesn't make sense. Some were all covered in scratches. Some were really clean. I don't know. Very really weird. Bobby V. Yeah, about two dollars for Bobby V. I don't know what I. I keep picking up Bobby V. Records. I promised myself I wouldn't. I don't know. With strings and things. Oh crap! I didn't see that. Big damn stamp there. Audition record. <laughs> didn't see that at all. Let's see the record. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool though. I remember I had the, some promo LP somewhere. Liberty Audition Record. And it's really clean. I think that's what attracted me to it. <laughs> Turns on my photo, Suzy Q. So it's kind of cool. Yep. Now I'm glad I got it for two bucks. Art Blakey, hold on, I'm coming. Holland Pressing. It's stereo. Stamp there, take. Time stamp, April 7, 1967. Sometimes it helps to have these dates stamped on them. And beautiful Holland vinyl. I'm not going to show all the records one by one, just just don't want to. This I got because not for the content, but the context and the sleeve. Music from This Is Your Life, Ralph Edwards. So most of you are familiar with this TV show. Even Bugs Bunny went on that show in one Bugs Bunny short. It was a spoof of that show. So that's kind of cool. And this one is clean. This is on the Imperial label, but it's clean. I won't pull it out. Leslie Gore. I almost didn't take it because it's mono. This one I would have preferred in stereo. All about love. And it's in great shape. Again, a promo copy. Ah, there's a stamp here. January 13, 1966. Weird disco. Italo disco, actually. This is a, a, an Italian recording because it's Baby Records. But distributed by Uniway Records Limited. Downstairs records. So, oh, and <laughs> I like the <laughs> the uh, the cover is really kitschy. Just notice the girls uh, have boobs and the inside. Yeah, <laughs> it makes me laugh. But I I just like this cool, so I'll put this back later. This I have to get even if I have already. It's a 12-inch sealed, 12-inch maxi single of a. Uh, uh, André Gagnon, Rendezvous, and Smash. Smash is a non-LP track, and this is the 12-inch uh, version. 7 minutes and 13 seconds. And it's sealed, so I had to get it. Ça, c'est Québécois ici. Le Canadien Salomon Pure, volume 2. Il y a presque pas de disque Québécois dans tout le lot. Mais quand j'ai vu les titres, allons à l'expo. Tatoué le sage. En way, Daniel. En l'an 2000, en avant les Québécois de la visite de Montréal. Un Québécois, écoute, là, écoute, là, j'ai hâte d'écouter ça. Là. Le disque est super beau, je le sortirai pas. Là. This is. Uh, I got it only because, holy crap, it's sealed. It's wow, it's sealed. So it's uh, Ravi Shankar uh, at the Montre International Pop Festival. This album contains free full color Ravi Shankar poster. And it's still sealed. No deletion hold, no nothing. Just. Just a cool item. I couldn't leave it there. I almost didn't, but then I got this. I've been looking for this album, but this is the uh, how I can explain. The RCA and Mercury Wing did that for a while, re-releasing -re cheaper uh, versions of uh, previous albums by removing a few tracks. So the cover indicates 10 songs, or there should be 12. I've been looking for the 12 version for a while, but. Um, Many years ago, I went to a man who had like a long row of LPs for sale. Maybe from, uh, I don't know, a pile, uh, two, three, four. Because I'm holding the camera, I can't show you with my arms, but let's say, yeah, from, let's say from there to there at least. And only one record I wanted to have, and it was the other version of uh, Betty Page, The Waltz Queen. And the cover was empty. And he told me, oh, I gave a stereo away. And there was a record on it, it was that one. <laughs> what are the odds? So he gave me the empty cover. Now I can match the record because turns out that the record inside is the 12 track version for a great shape too. 
so that's that's really cool and I got this this was on the special table and uh, there was no price a little white sticker on it so I got it for two bucks so it's the the 12 inch single of the clash rock the Casbah a great song that I discovered only this year and I, I actually have my radar uh, scanning uh, keeping my eyes open for the uh, combat rock album uh, which CBC Radio 2 played on the radio on a Friday um, coming back from work and I, I heard it and I kept going wow I know what a great song every song was good and uh, that's the first song I heard and it was so good and um, uh, because I think it was the 35th anniversary of this album this year so CBC Radio 2 made me discover this album and I found the, the 12 inch oddly enough Rock the Casbah on the A side is just 3 minutes and something long not a long remix version but it, there is a remix version on YouTube so I'm confused a bit but the B-side is a semi-instrumental uh, version Mustafa Dance is actually the same track so that's a non-LP track I'm really, really glad I got this for two bucks and uh, when I played it in the kitchen this weekend I actually flipping a record over I dropped it on the kitchen floor but it fell flat and I went <gasps> And I stopped moving for three seconds and then I bent over to pick up the record I looked at it, no scratches, I went oof, that was close, just a little bit of dust and uh, so I got those for two dollars it was one marked three dollars almost a guilty pleasure at this point it's a ten, it, it's a ten track version of the twelve track uh, album Flying Platters uh, re reissued on wing but it's the condition that made me pick it up the shrink wrap is still on it it was three dollars instead of two the record is really beautiful I, I won't uh, show you the record but I wanted to the two tracks that are missing are You Are Too Beautiful and Sweet Sixteen I looked it up I, I was curious to see what two tracks were missing uh, so I got this for three dollars and I'm about to show you very soon in a moment my, my the other record that what had a price on it, uh, but before that, I want to just show you two things I found inside some of the records. I got this uh, promo sheet from High Records, July 1969. Great original hits from Memphis. Kind of interesting. I didn't get the record itself because I did find it in this in the stack, but it was scratchy. So I said, uh, decided to just keep the sheet because it was kind of cool. And I found this at the bottom of another record of one of what I actually picked and it's a collectible uh, Beatle card it says George Harrison and it says number 56 in a series of 60 photos printed in Canada it was at the bottom of a uh, record so that was kind of fun um, and uh, the last record from the lot and I was really surprised when I got when I picked it up Gainsbourg Love on the Beat what? and this is the Serge Gainsbourg qui est pas son plus rare En fait, si j'avais à deviner, je dirais que c'est probablement son, son album, son deuxième album le plus courant. Le premier, c'est probablement euh, son album reggae de 79. Là, euh, comment ça s'appelle? J'avais vu ce bout de la langue tantôt. Aux armes, etc. Je pense que ça doit être son album le plus courant. Puis celui-là, pas mal courant. Il vaut un peu moins cher que je pensais, mais c'était pas le but. C'était pas d'avoir un disque qui vaut cher, mais c'est que je l'avais pas en vinyle. Malheureusement ou heureusement, Et scellé, jamais ouvert. Ah, mais car est-ce que j'avais hâte d'écouter euh, mes deux tunes préférées, Harley David, Son of a Bitch, puis Le Man Lemon Incest. J'avais hâte de les faire jouer sur une table tournante. J'ai l'intégral en CD, là, fait que j'ai CD. Mais il est scellé, je peux pas l'ouvrir. Puis c'est le prix qui m'a fait capoter. J'ai laissé le prix dessus. Tu sais, il a mis un disque de Mel Torme à 25 piastres que personne n'a voulu. Puis il met, il met un Gainsbourg scellé à 4 piastres. Le vendeur, il s'amusait juste à checker des prix sur Internet sans plus ou moins comprendre les prix. Des... Tu sais, ceux qui essaient de mettre des prix, là. Ah, juste en checkant Internet, ils comprennent pas. J'ai quand même eu quand même ce disque scellé-là pour 4 dollars. Juste un petit trou de promo dans le coin, c'est tout. 4 piastres. So, I was really excited to get this Self Gainsbourg album for 4 dollars still sealed. <laughs> it's ridiculously low worth at least 20 bars or maybe more and uh, the guy priced the records so so and um, 25 dollars he was asking 25 dollars for a metal tomer record nobody picked it I don't know the prices of the other records I, I 
think somebody said that there was a the Led Zeppelin, uh, there was a Led Zeppelin album for 12 bucks, but it was covered in scratches. So, you, you know. and so all this, uh, if you add it up yourself, it adds up to 52, rounded up to 50 dollars, pay 50 dollars. Then the guy found something else uh, uh, that he had put aside, and he showed me this empty cover of the Rolling Stones. Now, now, and I, I was trying to remember, do I already have the the empty cover with no record? Or do I have the record with no cover? And, and I couldn't remember, so I gave him a dollar for this, this, this clean cover of the Rolling Stones uh, now. But I can't find out right away because my inventory in my computer is not up to date. And, uh, <laughs> and um, the more I think about it, I think I already have the cover with no, <laughs> the, the cover with no record. But I'll find out when uh, eventually I sort out my junk downstairs. So that that one good deal of the the weekend was this one. So I, I, I'm, I, despite all the records I missed out, I'm really glad I picked up myself one's world record here. Thank you for watching.